Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The sewage problem for some residents of some central Kingston communities worsened last night when hundreds of gallons of raw effluent came gushing through their yards and by daybreak, residents took to the streets in protest. Water come up in the bathroom and the tidies. The leader of opposition business in the Senate, Mark Golding, says he and his colleagues will be meeting to discuss their positions with the impending appointment of Dr. Peter Phillips as the opposition leader. But commentator Dr. Paul Ashley believes all eight opposition senators should resign. The body overseeing Jamaica's economic reform program under the deal with the IMF says the government is on track to meet its targets for the end of this month. The mother of the 14-year-old Victor Dixon High School student who was killed in a traffic crash earlier this month is appealing to the Prime Minister to install safety systems near the school. Amelia Willis died in hospital on March 10, hours after she was hit by a car at the intersection of Manchester and Mayday Roads, about 200 meters from her school. In sports, Kingston College's Ari Rogers clocked 4 minutes 3.79 seconds in the preliminary round of the Class 2 boys 1500 meters in Wednesday morning's session of Day 2 of the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Championships at the National Stadium. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be sunny. In the afternoon, expect partly cloudy skies with possible isolated showers across sections of central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.